dead accelerator pedal on 560 SL. What could it be? Kev writes me from Los Angeles, I think. He's a Los Angeles phone number. And has a 560SL, and the 560SL is running pretty good. But once in a while, when he goes to accelerate, nothing happens. You just push the throttle and uh, nothing. This is a really strange circumstance. And when I looked at the list of items he had replaced, which included the EHA valve, the injectors, the KE control unit, and the, um, uh, I think he had, he had even tested another fuel distributor on there. He wasn't getting anywhere. And so we're going to look at Kev's problem today and see if we can't help him hone in on a diagnosis. Now, the first thing when I'm looking at a problem like this that does not make any sense, and I can't... I can't put my finger on where the issue might be coming from. I try to go back and look at my personal experience. So I had a 560SL that elicited very similar behavior uh, a few years ago. And this car was a pain in my butt because I would fix it, the problem would go away for a few months, then it would come back with a vengeance. And I had no clue where to begin looking. But one day, serendipitously when the car is sitting in my shop I told Jesse to replace the ignition rotor and he replaced it and then suddenly everything was fine and there was no other explanation for what had happened now we tried all this other stuff plus cleaning the contact plate on the crankshaft position sensor replacing the crankshaft position sensor trying numerous other easy L's I mean we had no clue what was going on but it turned out to be that the ignition rotor would occasionally transfer spark and occasionally wouldn't because an ignition rotor is not a solid piece of copper. So in Kev's car, I would consider replacing ignition rotor. But just to consider some other very simple possibilities that uh, I think are, are quite important, I'm going to come up with some alternative diagnoses. And the first one that I'm going to look at is the transverse accelerator control rod that goes from the throttle linkage on the left side of the engine to the throttle linkage on the right side of the engine. This accelerator control, control rod not only collapses but has an adjusting screw. And if the adjusting screw is loose, then the accelerator linkage can collapse and not push the throttle. It'll just do nothing. And if it's right there on the cusp, when you release it, it may shoot back to where it was and then push the throttle the second time. This would clearly be the negligence of another mechanic for not tightening a seven millimeter uh, head screw that tightens the throttle linkage in its place. Now, some people suggested that this could be a transmission problem, but transmissions usually don't go out nicely. They fail and they show a pattern of failure. So we're not going to entertain that. But one thing that, uh, that could be uh, another potential issue could be that the throttle linkage is sticking due to some sort of issue with the transition Bowden cable binding or the linkage to the Bowden cable binding. And checking for bi binding linkages is very important because when you have a dead accelerator pedal or an accelerator pedal that fails to function, one can also assume that that pedal is being held up by a separate mechanism and keeping it from moving. So it's a good idea to inspect the entire throttle linkage with the air cleaner on and that leads to my last idea. I had a 380 SL that used to do this and it was quite obvious. And when that accelerator pedal would stick on the 380 SL, there was a problem with it binding against the top of the air cleaner. Take the air cleaner off and it was fine. But the control rod going from the back of the linkage to the front was so distorted that it was pushing against the air cleaner and sometimes it wouldn't allow it to pass and sometimes it would. It depended on all sorts of weird things like the temperature of the rubber grommets holding the air filter on. So my point here is with this sort of situation, uh, one should not focus strictly on big things. They should look at some little things because if you don't have a pattern of failure, chances are it's some small thing hanging up. Big items, and I've learned this in the past, like fuel distributors and EHAs and crankshaft position sensors, they don't fail once and then everything keeps working. They fail in such a way that the engine of the car 
doesn't run harmoniously and deteriorates every time you can actually track the failure as it gets worse and worse and worse. And um, that's something that you shouldn't forget here. So Kev, I wish you luck in your quest. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications. And we're going to try to answer some more Patreon questions later today. So thank you guys. I appreciate it. Perfect. Okay.